Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem and find the value of x here? From here, we have square root of x. Then inside that, we also have square root of 2x. Then inside that again, square root of 3x is equal to 12. And from here, let's take the square on both sides so as to remove one square one of the square roots here so take the square on both sides then this square we cancel one of the square roots here then this become x then root 2x then root 3x will equals to 12 raised to power 2 let's still leave it like that then again let's square both sides again so we square this side also we square this side again and from here this square here we affect these two terms here that is we are going to have x square then we have root 2x then root 3x all square which is equals to here we have 12 raised to power 4 2 times 2 here will be 4 then this power of 2 of course affected the square root and this we cancel each other so we have x square then multiply by 2x root 3x left which is equals to 12 raised to power 4 here then also we repeat the process and square both side again so we square this side also we square this side and from here this square here we affect these three terms here so it will affect x square and it will affect 2x so we can say this will be x square then square then times 2x square then times root 3 x square which is equal to here 2 times 4 will be 8 that's 12 raised to power 8 here then when we simplify this 2 times 2 here is 4 that's x raised to power 4 times here we square 2 and we square x square of 2 that's 4 then times x square then times square we cancel square root here then we have 3x equals to 12 raised to power 8 and uh, from here we can separate the x from here and we have x raised to power 4 times x square times x then separate the number times 4 then times 3 equals to 12 raised to power 8 and from here we have seen this multiply from the law of indices this will give us x raised to power 4 plus 2 then plus power here is 1 then times 4 times 3 that's 12 which is equals to 12 raised to power 8 and in the next step we add this together that's x raised to power 7 times 12 equals to 12 raised to power 8 divide both side by 12 and from here 12 cancel each other and what we have left here is x raised to power 7 equals to here this 12 raised to power 1 and same base now divide we subtract the power so we have 12 raised to power 8 minus 1 then we have 8 minus 1 that's 7 that's x raised to power 7 equals to 12 raised to power 7 and from here we have same you know power here that means we can equate the base and from here we conclude that x is equals to 7 sorry s equals to 12 rather we compare this and we say that from here x is equals to 12 now we can check if 
x equals to 12 satisfy our problem here. So from what we are given, we have square root of x, then square root of 2x, then inside that square root of 3x is equals to 12, where we put 12 as x. So we got x equals to 12 from here. Then let's substitute from here. We now have square root of 12, then multiply by square root of 2x, that's 2 times 12 here, and 2 times 12, of course, 2 times 12 here will give us 24, so we have 24, then square root of 3x, that's 3 times 12, that will give us 36, is it equals to 12? Now, from here, square root of 36 is 6. So, this gives us square root of 12. Then, square root of 24. Then, square root of 36. That's 36 here. Is it equals to 12? Then, from here, we have 24 times 6. That's 144. So, we have square root of 12. Then, square root of 144. Is this equals to 12? Then square root of 144 is 12. So we have square root of 12 times 12. Is it equals to 12? Then square root of this. That's 12 times 12. That's still 144. Square root of 144. Is it equals to 12? Of course, 12 here is equals to 12. Then the left hand side is equals to the right hand side. Then we can conclude that from here x equals to 12 is our solution to the problem. Thank you for watching. Please share this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next class and bye for now.